So now let's go to the API binding for for specifically now for let's do the API binding for hobby. I'm happy to have you here. So we are going to go into the first steps of uh, the API. So we are already in a royal queue. So when we get to a royal queue, we needed to we needed to make sure that uh, we come here on home. Now from there, uh, then uh, we are going to go to this area called. Uh, uh, the API binding then we tap on it and uh, then from the menu from the menu sorry for that from the menu we are going to choose hobby as our main center focus since I've already done my API uh, I will tap on replace here I mean there so I'm gonna tap on it so now I can minimize my screen. Minimize my screen. Then uh, go to my <coughs> hobby account. Okay, so it is time to log in. So it is time to log in. It is time to log in. Okay, now we are here at hobby. So when you get to hobby, our first step is to come and tap here. Okay, then we come to this place called me. Just a minute. This place. This one called me. This is what I mean. You tap on me drastically it will open up if you're using your phone to the api and uh, you're going to select and so we are going to go on our top right there is this icon that icon that one so tap on it <coughs> tap on it then come to this area called um, trade setting then we tap on this arrow that is there sorry for that so we tap on trade setting then we tap on this arrow there all right then when you reach this arrow then we go to this area down here called uh, api management tap on it Immediately we come here, nothing to look around at. We come to API, create API, and I will tap on this. So in tap on it, our first step is to come here. Okay, sorry for that. Our first step is to come here in this space here and write in the word royal queue. So we're going to write our royal queue then after writing the word royal queue what next all right you're going to come and choose this word here trade so we tap on it don't tap on with the draw so we tap on trade now we need now to minimize our screen come back to royal queue and copy the ip group binding this thing so how do we do we tap on the word copy so we just come tap on this word copy so it, it gets to our fingers then we come back to hobby and we paste it at this area called link ip address this one here so in this space specifically that's where we put it now next we come down here to this area called confirm but now we need it to send messages so that uh, we can succeed with the creator creation of the api so we go to the messages so i will put in my messages i'll put in my messages my codes all right then uh, the next code is that of the gmail 
so i needed to pick my gmail code i needed to pick my gmail code i need to pick my gmail code and also be able to paste it in okay then lastly my authenticator my authenticator code and also have it in here so to be able to get these messages what i i, I left her i didn't get here there is a message sent so you need to tap on that message first before you you get the message okay like here you see i need to tap on message then when it comes to when it comes to for the for the for the gmail i need also to tap on this word send so if i don't then i, I miss out so now after that i confirm now the api has been created so the second step is the easiest now we come to these two boxes we need now to come to these two boxes these ones copy them when you tap on it you have copied okay so i'll copy the secret key first okay copy the secret key then i transfer it here to my okay to my to my to my royal key then go back again copy the access key transfer it here to there then i need to come back here and confirm please make sure you come back here because when you don't confirm whatever you have done is useless so you confirm so it is done i've confirmed my royal key then I come this side, I tap on send code. So, when you don't tap on this box here, that was here, of send code, the code will not go. So, you needed to command it, right? Okay, so I'll go to my, to my email. I'm using a Proton Mail. Uh, if you're seeing Proton Mail for the first time, uh, I just want to remind you that... Uh, Proton Mail is an encrypted email address. It is an encrypted email address that uh, doesn't have ads or anything that also provides an extra security if you're using email. So you need to find an, 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 an encrypted email address that you can use always that is not run on ads and whatsoever. So, so to do that, you just go to, to get Proton Mail app, you just go to your app store, right? tap on it then come and uh, write the word proton mail proton mail you see when you write the word proton mail the word comes up I hope it's in here and there we go okay, so i tap on it automatically it brings me to the app so you create the account all right so people usually ask me julia how can i change my email if you're using binance just come to your Binance account. If you're using Binance, just come to your Binance account. You want to change to move from your Gmail to the Proton Mail. Just come to your Binance account. Tap on home. Very important. Tap on home. When you tap on home, then when you tap on home, when you tap on home then come on top here tap on home come on come on home scroll down to security here even if you want to change your your phone number it's the same style the same style the same style come on security and where were you 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 wanted to work on your you wanted to work on your email or you want to change the phone number you just tap your email then they will give you an icon they'll give you an icon hope you can be able to see this one change very important they give you this icon 
change so you just tap on this arrow and once you do this you need to know that security with the draws will be disabled even if you want to change your phone number there are people from different countries just come here and change authentication you want to change from one phone number to another it's very possible as i've done for binance it still it is the same scenario with hobby you can always change okay you can always change your transaction you got security then down because now it requires me to log in again you go to your security and then be able to change your email to better email you want to use thank you so much for watching i hope this could be very very beneficial i hope if i go back to my royal queue you now see i have my i basically i have my um i have my binance connected and hobby connected at the same time so i can have capital in binance and capital in hobby to trade but i would encourage someone to make sure you have significant capital in your binance and maybe significant capital in your hobby before you take such a decision to trade on two exchanges that's it and done uh, i want to wish you a perfect day uh, there's some little floating loss because the market is down but very very soon this is gonna be a walkover thank you so much god bless you and uh, have a nice perfect day